Bwana asifiwe. Pastor Faith ametuhubiria sana on the issue of being obedient. Ama kuonyesha kwamba you are a loyal son katika huduma hii. Aliongea hiyo la Sunday ameendelea leo na mimi hata Sunday kulingana na vile roho wa Mungu atamuongoza ngoja aendelee. Thank you. Deuteronomy chapter 16 and verse 12. I'm going to read some scriptures today. So be prepared grace. Lakini sita kuharakisha. Itaenda pole pole. And today I present a very simple message you are not going to forget. Because I'm talking of the importance of remembrance. Why it is very very important to remember. Rudieni nyuma yangu why it is important to remember. Why it is important to remember. I'm just going to share with you very briefly. Why? Because nataka ikitu ikuingie na ikuingie itusaidie all of us. Deuteronomy, natumewekewa screens. You can read from the screen. Why it is important to remember. Deuteronomy 16 and verse 12. To start, remember that you were slaves in Egypt and follow carefully these decrees. Remember, just that verse 12, verse 12, verse 12, please. We are leading that. Remember that you are slaves in Egypt and follow carefully these decrees. The ability to remember is probably the single most important for everyone in life. I repeat myself. The ability to remember uwezo wa kukumbuka the ability to remember is probably the single most important for everyone in this life kile kitu ambacho ni cha muhimu sana katika maisha ya mkristo it is the ability to remember mwanadamu ana ugonjwa mkubwa na ile ugonjwa ni wa kusahau kule alikuwa i have seen it in my life nimeona mungu akitendea watu mambo makubwa people who were nothing becoming something ama becoming somebody and then they forget Kama kuna kitu ndugu yangu dada yangu unastahili ukasahau ni usisahau ulikuwa siku moja mtumishi wa ufalme wa Giza Yesu akaja akakuokoa akabadilisha maisha yako Waleo you are a saint. Waleo haujulikani kama kengei. Waleo umefanyika mwana wa Mungu. Dada zangu ndugu zanguni. Naomba hivi. Usije ukasahau Mungu mahali amekutoa. There was a time you did not have money. There was a time you had no either Sunday best, dio ya wiki, dio ya kila kitu. And I remember, nikiwa kijana, my Sunday best, ilikuwa ni kinyasa ya shule. So inafuliwa Saturday, naanza kuifa Sunday, na itaendelea hivyo mpaka Saturday yo ingine. That was the best I could. Mungu anatuabia nini? Wakati umeanza kuna wili. Wakati umeanza kustabilize, remember, 
kule Mungu alivyo kutoa. Mwanadamu ako na kasumba ya kusahau. Mwanadamu ana kasuba ya kujisikia e, ni mimi nina uwezo. Ni mimi nimejiwezesha. Tuliambiwa na wengine hapa, yani nguo zingine zenu zote zilikuwa zinashonwa na mikono. Za juu na wapi? Zilikuwa zinashonwa na mikono. Ndugu yangu dada yangu, never forget. Wana wa Israeli wanaambiwa, never forget that once you were slaves in Egypt. Hakuna kitu kibaya kama kuwa na watu kanisani they just forget what Christ has done in their lives. Na diyo nimesema the ability to remember is the single most important thing for every believer. Remember where the Lord took you. Remember who you were and now where you are. Musalimbe jirani yako mambia how are you? How are you ni? Where are you coming from? And now the Lord has brought you here. This is not the end. God has better things laid for you. Only remember the Lord your God. Forget not. Kule amekutoa. Remember kule mungu amekutoa dada yangu. Remember kule mungu amekutoa dugu yangu. That will help you to be very humble in the house of the Lord. Number two. Remembrance make you walk in your calling. Remembrance makes you to walk well in your calling. Remembrance itakusaidia dada yangu dugu yangu. Ukumbuke ya kwamba hata ungejua one day ungekuwa mwimbaji ungekuwa mcheza solo ama keyboard you did not know ungefika the last level lakini wa leo unaweza kuiba zote tufungue mindomo kwa kushaga remember 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 remembrance makes you remembrance makes you Walk in your calling. Inakumfanya usingive na roho ya siku hizi inaitwa ya maseleb. Juice tulikuwa tunaongea tunaongana selebu moja sitamtaja jina amejenga nyumba ya 76 million one celeb. And then I was asking my wife kwa nini anaonyesha hivi? Nikaangalia nikasema Hey everything that is there is vanity of vanity My friends If God can help you kukumbuka ya kwamba ni yeye amekupatia afya Kuna wakati ulikuwa nasumbuliwa na magonjwa Wa leo Mungu alikuponya Ai nataka kusikia amen Kuna wakati ulikuwa nasumbuka Na shida nyingi Ranch was a problem There was a time You could not step forward before people Because hata nguwe ya kustep bere Hau kwa nayo But today You are the way you are Kwa sababu ni mbwana amekufanya Deuteronomy 15 And verse 15 Angalia wana wa Israel vila wanaambiwa Deuteronomy 15 and verse 15. To start, remember that, sitisome pamoja, to start, remember that you were slaves in Egypt and the Lord your God redeemed you. And the Lord your God redeemed you. That is why I give you this command. Now, wanakubushwa, Mulikuwa, mulikuwa watumwa Then mimi nikakukomboa 
There is a tendency ya watu kusahau ni Mungu aliyekuokoa dada yangu. Ni Mungu aliyekuokoa ndugu yangu. Never forget. Remember ring. Ama remembrance makes you walk in your calling. Unajua isingekuwa ni Bwana, singekuwa mahali nimefika. That's what you are. Kama sio wewe Yesu, sijui ningekuwa wapi. Kama sio wewe, ningekuwa wapi meme. Kama sio wewe, ningekuwa wapi meme. Yaani anaiba anaona kuvaa kule nimevaa kusimama kule nasimama hata vile the way i am the way you look smart kama sio yeye sijui wewe ungekuwa wapi sijui ndugu yangu ungekuwa wapi sijui dada yangu ungekuwa wapi so anasema remember that you were slaves mlikuwa watumwa wangiza and the Lord your God redeemed you. Mungu die alie wakombowa. Kwa sababu ya watu kusahau. That's why tunaitana mikutano hapa. Mutu anaona niko na kazi yangu. Mutu anaona niko na mali yangu. Mutu anaona niko na familia yangu. Lakini humu hubidi anasema. Watu kanisani most of the times tunakuaga na ibada mbili ama tatu Praise and worship wasema wanakuwa na wakati wao tunakuwa na ibada ya maombi na ibada ya bible study na sunday service Huyu mhubiri anasema hivi anaitwa magogo sini magogo aga mgogo anauliza wale watu wanaendanga kwa ba they are there 24/7 from Sunday to Sunday. Wao wanakuanga kule daily. Tunapookoka na wengine mlikuwa huko. Unakuta pastor anasema Monday we must meet for prayers. Pastor, I have no time. We must meet on Wednesday for Bible study. Pastor, I have no time. Sasa anaongea maneno ambao mimi kabisa siwezi kuyanena vile ananena. Lakini anasema hivi. Wewe kwa sababu hauna time kwa sababu ya biashara yako. Wewe kwa sababu hauna time kwa sababu ya, ya, ya watoto wako. Wewe hauna time ya kuwa nyumbani mwa Bwana. How come wale wa ba they give every day kwa huduma yao kule? Na hawatoi kidogo wanatoa kubwa lakini wao wanaendelea wewe hauji kwa ibada hautoi vizuri ai there is a problem somewhere are you getting my point anasema hii mambo ya kusema i have no time it is a lie from hell time is always there you just need to create what you want to do at a certain time the way vile mmekuja kama leo mnastahili kuwa hivyo kesho kwa maombi the way mmekuja leo nastahili niwaone siku ya bible study the same way mmekuja hata ibada ya kwanza mungekuwa hivyo hivyo lakini nakuta ya kwamba ni kama kuna rags inakuja wakati umeokoka Mungu ameanza kutubariki kidogo tu tunazembea that will not be our portion in this church Hallelujah Remembrance makes you make make or oh no, make you in um, sorry Remembrance makes you walk in your calling inakusaidia hauridhiki unataka kusonga mbele watu wengi mnastahili kuwa level zingine higher and higher Wegi wanadidimia class 8. Wegi wanadidimia form 4. Hiyo ni mwanzo. Hata form 4 inaitua ordinary certificate. Ingia university, ingia college, ingia uwanze kufanya degree, ingia uwanze kufanya 
uh, uh, masters phd hata ndio utasema umesoma hata katika maisha ya kiroho hautakaa kama tuko levo ya chini kuna ile hali ya ku get the spirit of the church tunasikia ameni inasema upande moja hao wengine tu mnaniangalia but i'm here to challenge us if we want to make it in our christian life we must remember kule Mungu ametutoa na tuone ile mpango alionayo kule anavyo tupereka praise the name of the lord number three, remembrance keeps me humble kukumbuka kule Mungu amenitoa inanifanya niwe mtu ambao ni humble ni mnyenyekevu I have seen it in life. Nimeona watu ambao they had nothing. Mungu amewabariki mpaka wanabarikiwa akija kanisani kuliko aje na Biblia anakuja na gazeti. Sitahitaja jina. So wakati pasta anahubiri yeye tayari amesummarize hiyo message. Maana yeye amefika. Kwa hivyo pasta anaposema Deuteronomy na anafungua gazeti page 2. Pasta anasema vazi nyingine anaenda page 5. Alafu akimaliza anaikuja vizuri vile tunda beba hii tablet yangu naye anabeba. Na kabibilia amebeba kale ka Gideons atahasome. Remembrance inakufanya you become more humble. Inakufanya ujue hili neno I need to know it more. Sijafika mahali na stahili kufika. Dada yangu haujafika, ndugu yangu haujafika. So kukumbuka kule Mungu amekutoa it keeps you humble. Unajua kuna maombi mengine wa Kristo anaomba ambao it's out of order. Kuna watu wanaomba Lord help me to be humble. No. It should not be that way. The Bible says humble yourself. Tell your neighbor humble yourself. Otherwise ukimwambia Mungu to humble you atakutoa mahali huko akupeleke msituni. Alimchukua jamaa anaitwa Nebukadnesa alipelekwa wapi Mustuni for seven years akamea nywele kama nyama mnyama wa Mustuni akawa anakula nyasi for seven years kwa sababu alikuwa amejiinua kuliko kumuinua Mungu I pray you will never pray such a prayer anymore You will be praying Lord help me to walk nisaidie Bwana in my walk with you to remain humble. Samba oh Lord. Help me. Never to allow pride in my life. When you remember where you have come from, you always recognize that the grace of God has been at work with you. Unapo nyenyekea Unaendelea kurecognize that the grace of God has been at work. Ni kwa neema. Mwambie jirani yako on the left and the right. Mwambie dada yangu ndugu yangu ni kwa neema. Wacha hiyo kiburi. It is by the grace of God. Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9. Wengine tukibarikiwa ni malingo ni kujionyesha ni nini ni nini To start Second Corinthians chapter 12 and verse 9 Can we read together But he said to me My grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in weakness Therefore I will boast all the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me oh 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 i wish kama kuna mtu angekuwa na biblia ya kiswahili do you have somebody with kiswahili bible he he hii he, kanisa hakuna mtu ana kiswahili eh lakini angalia tume paulo alikuwa na muimba ndani yake shida ya ina friend ndani ya mwili wake akaomba mungu mungu akamwambia but god said to me 
my grace ne mayaku imna kutosha for you for my power is made perfect in weaknesses therefore i will boast on the more gladly about my weaknesses so that Christ's power may rest on me anasema sitalinga na hii ni kitu hata mimi mchungaji hata we mzee wa kanisa hata we kijana kanisani hata we msichana kanisani we need to pray that the grace of god iwe ikionekana katika kuongea kwetu iwe ikionekana katika kutembea kwetu iwe ikionekana eh bereni ulikuwa unatembea vizuri tunakuona lakini saa hii he, he, unaanza kutembea ni kama mguu mmoja imekuwa mfupi vile unalinga na kavua mbele pande moja yani watu wa kuone si mnawaonanga na bereni alikuwa anatembea tumbo ikiwa ndani hakuna kitu that's why na wabianga we shall never know you when you are poor tutakuja kukujua ukianza kushika pesa ukiwa huna pesa you can pretend to be very humble ngoja ziingie uanze kutoa mashati ukiulizanga nani mwingine amesha na ni 10000 tu 10000 just 10000 hatuwezi lala hatuwezi kukaa hauwezi kutulia hapa kwani pastor utamaliza ibada lini <laughs> nataka kufika pale gurushan ni kunywe soup 10000 just 10000 just 10000 tunakosa usingizi kwa sababu ya I pray tueleweane ya kwamba recognize mahali umefika it is by the grace of God wengine wenu wengine wengine ni kwa neema wengine mungekuwa mbali wengine wangekuwa shimo na tewa wengine wenu wangekuwa ulipandwa juu ya yani this ilipandwa juu ya kaburi yako kitabo but by the grace of God now you are in the house of the Lord si upigie bwana Yesu makofi it is by his grace ni hapari hapa umefika. So Paulo anamwambia anaambiwa na Mungu, wewe tulia. Yaani my grace is sufficient. The Lord gives us his grace. His grace will take you far. Sio kiburi chako. Sema kiburi cha maisha is not my portion. Sema tena kiburi cha maisha is not my portion. Hallelujah. A man of remembrance stays humble. Mtu yeyote anakumbuka kule Mungu amemtoa anasema ni kwa neema ya Bwana. So a man a man of remembrance stays humble the, uh, through the memories of his uh, different trials and sufferings. Hata wakati anapitia mambo magumu na vita hapa na pale yeye anaendelea kuvumilia anaendelea kutulia ndani ya Mungu. He cares about you my brother. He cares about you my sister. Sema abiga amen. Hallelujah. Number four. Remembrance makes you a grateful person. Remembrance makes you a grateful person. Hapo juu nimesema ni kitu ambayo inatakiwa tuombe hata sisi. Because sometimes Mungu amefanya mambo makubwa kidogo tu. We start talking, unasikia mtu akisema hii kanisa langu, hii kanisa langu, ngoja uone vile nimefanya. Nimekuwa nikimuomba Mungu. Hii kanisa sio la Mwaura, hili kanisa ni la Yesu. I should not be seen, but Christ should be seen in this church. Hallelujah. Mtumishi wa Mungu alikuwa ameanza huduma yake na ikawa inanawili sasa akialika watu anawaambia kujeni muone yale nimefanya kujeni muone yale nimefanya alafu ikafika mahali akitaka kuendelea na huo mlandi ukakwama ukakwama na wakati ule tu amenyenyekea akaenda mbele za Mungu akamwambia mimi nimechoka na ninaitisha pesa hazingii watu hawatoi akauliza Mungu what is the problem Mungu akamwambia ulipoanza kuambia watu waje waone kile umefanya hapo ndio uli miss the mark maana sio haukunitukuza mimi ambia watu waone vile ninafanya 
then hiyo itafanya mambo ya tendeke katikati yenu that man went before the lord wept before the lord oh god nisamehe mahali popote nimejaribu kuchukua your glory lord forgive me do you know sometimes it is very easy to take the glory of god in our praise and worship in the way we pray our keyboard in the way we are preaching unaona kama ni uwezo wako i am praying for each one of us as the lord promotes us as the lord increases us in every area of our lives ngoja tuseme hapa ni bwana aliyetusaidia hapa ni bwana aliyetusaidia usije ukasema hapa ni mimi nisije nikasema hapa ni mimi nimeweza mimi ningeweza niweza namna gani it is by the grace of god that we are the way we are na hata ukiongea mambo hapa utasema hata ukialika mtu aone what god is doing muambie vile mungu anafanya sio vile pastor mwaura anafanya i am just a workmanship with the holy spirit of god si mungu apokee utukufu nasi tuendelee hapa na kufanya kile ametwita tufanye wapendwa kuna mahali mtafika you have not, not arrived kuna mahali tunafika haujafika so nimesema hapa remembrance makes you a grateful person unajua kuiba ni Mungu ameniwezesha kutengeneza hii madhabahu ni Mungu ameniwezesha mzee Mungu kutuwekea marekodi sio wewe ni Mungu amekuwezesha wale wanatupikia pale sio wao ni Mungu amewawezesha umeambiwa uwe asha sio wewe ni Mungu amekuwezesha if only we could bring Christ aonekane in our services in the church you will never see human beings we are going to see Christ how i pray that we shall remember vile tulikuwa na nyumba ya matope hapa vile tutakubuka vile tulikuwa na nyumba ya makaratasi vile tulikuwa na nyumba ilikuwa inajulikana kama ni god down ama ni nini hata watu walikuwa hawaoni church walikuwa naona god down eh yani ni kama mahali pa kuegeza vitu kumbe ilikuwa ni kanisa as we remember that my brothers and my sisters it causes us to humble ourselves it causes us to know it is by the grace of god hallelujah si kwa uwezo wako umeshika hizo pesa tunasikia hakuna amen si kwa uwezo umeweza kununua hiyo suit ama hiyo kiato it is by the grace of god hallelujah si kwa uwezo wako ya kwamba unaweza kulea watoto wako it is by the grace of god people forget how they have been loved hata watu usahau jinsi walivyopendwa ndugu yangu ulipokuja hapa Mombasa ulipatiwa kwa kulala mahali hata kama ulikuwa unalala mezani dada yangu yule mtu alikusaidia mahali pa kulala the first day in Mombasa never forget hiyo upendo alionyesha Haleluya. Eh, usisahau mtu aliyekushika mkono ukaingia lepo nyingine. Never forget. Sema O oh Lord, help me never to forget kule Bwana umenitoa. Ungratefulness is sin of yani uh, yani unforgetfulness is sin. Kusahau ni dhambi Sema sana kwa sauti kusahau ni dhambi Je umesahau kule Mungu alikutoa Kule ulitoka kwenu nyumbani hakuku hata na gate Gate ya kwenda wapi Baba yako hakuwa na baisikeli ha, Igekwa ngeti ya nini Kungeibiwa nini nothing Sasa Mungu amekubariki you are staying well never forget do i have people who can be grateful to god today do i have people today who can stand and say lord thank you kwa kwale umenitoa wewe uliyekuwa umesahau kule mungu amekutoa can you pray a prayer 
and ask the Lord, forgive me the sin of forgetfulness. Nisamehe kule ambao nilikuwa nimesahau. Yakoba ni wewe ulie nisaidia. Yakoba ni wewe ulie nipigania. Si wewe ulijipigania, ni mungu alikupigania. Si wewe ulijiongoza, ni mungu alikuongoza. I want to hear testimonies from this church. When you look backwards, you can see great things. What we get about the ungrateful, wanangalianga tu kule mbele, kila hawana. Nataka dada yangu, nataka dugu yangu leo, as we stand up, we are going to thank God. We are going to tell the Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, kwa kule umenitoa. Thank you, Father, kwa kile umenifanya. Hallelujah, brothers and sisters, wherever you are, thank you for joining us together here at El Shaddai Praise Center. And I thank God that this word was meant for you and meant for me. And today we are also going to worship the Lord with our giving. You can give via the uh, M-Pesa. The till numbers are 53-17-957. And I believe they are also on the screens. And it will be a blessing to give unto the Lord. The word of God says in Luke 6 and verse 38, Give unto the Lord, and a good measure, shaken together, pressed down, will men give into your bosom. Amen. Thank you for joining us today, and you are most welcome tomorrow. Same time, same praise. God bless you. Amen.